Magellan is best known for being an explorer for Portugal and later Spain, who discovered the Strait of Magellan while leading the first expedition to successfully circumnavigate the globe. In search of fame and fortune, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan set out from Spain in 1519 with a fleet of five ships to discover a western sea route to the Spice Islands and he became the first European to cross the Pacific Ocean. Maria Josefa Gabriela Carino de Silam was a Filipino military leader best known for her role as the female leader of the Ilocano independence movement from Spain. She took over from her second husband, Diego Silam, after his assassination in 1763, leaving her people for four months before she was captured and executed by the colonial government of the Catanzi General of the Philippines. Built in 1595, San Agustin, Manila, officially known as Church of the Immaculate Conception of San Agustin, is one of the oldest churches in the Philippines and part of UNESCO World Heritage Site. It has survived a number of earthquakes through restorations. What's unique about this church is the massive buttresses it has. It has a bell tower adjacent to it. It exhibits remarkable features such as retablos of high baroque styles and wall buttresses separating crypto-collateral chapels. The most significant achievement of Aguinaldo's dictatorial government was the proclamation of Philippine independence in Tawit Cavite on June 12, 1898. The day was declared a national holiday. Thousands of people from the provinces gathered in Tawit to witness the historic event. The purpose of the proclamation of the Philippine independence is to proclaim the sovereignty and independence of the Philippines from the colonial rule of the Spanish Empire. Magellan's cross is a huge wooden Christian cross that marks the arrival of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan on the island of Subbu, roughly 500 years ago. The ceiling is painted with a scene depicting Magellan's landing in Subbu in 1521 and the planting of the original cross on the shore. The national symbols of the Philippines consist of symbols that represent Philippine traditions and ideals and convey the principles of sovereignty and national solidarity of the Filipino people. Aside from those stated symbols in the Constitution and in Republic Act 8491, there are only six official national symbols of the Philippines enacted through law, namely Sampaguita as national flower, Nara as national tree, the Philippine eagle as national bird, Philippine pearl as national gem, Arnis as national martial art and sport and the Filipino Sign Language as National Sign Language. Thus, there is total of 12 official national symbols passed through Philippine laws. Barong Tagalog, root word baro, pertaining to upper garment, literally means Tagalog outfit. It was coined during the early Spanish colonial period to distinguish it as a native attire of Filipinos, in contrast to the European-style three-piece suits. The Barong Tagalog is an embroidered formal garment of the Philippines. The barong was popularized as formal wear by the Philippine President Ramon Magsaysay, who wore it to most official and personal affairs including his inauguration as president. Lapu-Lapu was one of the two battles of Mactan in the Visayas. Before the Spanish arrived in the archipelago, the other being a certain Zula, both of whom belonged to the Martin of Blas. He is best known for the Battle of Mactan that happened at dawn on April 27, 1521 where he and his warriors defeated the forces of the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan and his native allies Raja Humabon and Bato Zula. Bayanihan is a Filipino custom derived from the Tagalog word Bayan for nation, town or community. Bayanihan literally means being in a bayan and it refers to a fundamental aspect of Filipino culture, working together as a community to achieve a common goal. Bayanihan is the core essence of the Filipino culture. It is helping out one's neighbor as a community and doing a task together, thus lessening the workload and making the job easier. It is also called the community spirit. During Spanish times, all male Filipinos from 16 to 60 years old were forced to work for the government for a few weeks a year. This forced labor was called polo. At first, they lasted for 40 days, but in 1884, it was reduced to 15 days. The police has worked for various public works, like building roads and bridges, cutting timber in the forest, or serving as sailors and soldiers in military expeditions. 
The inscription is a document demonstrative of pre-Hispanic literacy and culture and is considered to be a national treasure. It is currently deposited at the National Museum of Anthropology in Manila. It is the earliest document that shows the use of mathematics in pre-colonial Philippine societies. With the establishment of Katipunan, Andres Bonifacio requested his wife, Gregoria de Jesus, to create a flag for the society. De Jesus devised a simple red flag bearing the society's acronym KKK in white and arranged horizontally at the center. It became the society's first flag. The red color symbolizes the blood of the members of the Katipunan in which inducted to the society's site in their names with their own blood. The Philippine Eagle is the official national bird of our country. The endangered Philippine Eagle is one of the world's largest and a majestic bird of prey that has powerful talons, a seven-foot white span, and a blue-gray eyes. The Battle of Mactan was a fierce clash fought in the Philippines on 27th of April in the year 1521. The warriors of Lapu-Lapu, one of the battles of Mactan, overpowered and defeated a Spanish force fighting for Raja Humabon of Cebu under the command of Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan, who was killed in the battle. Conventional weaponry during the pre-colonial era includes Cris and Campila, Logans and Lantaka. The lowlanders of Luzon no longer use the Parada, while the Moros and Animes of the South still continue the tradition of making Campilan and Cris. Warfare instruments of the Filipino forces continue to develop over time. At 102 years old, Wang Od Ogai, who also goes by Wang Od or Maria Ogai, is helping to keep an ancient tradition alive in the Kalinga province of the Philippines. She is the country's oldest Mamba Bato, a traditional Kalinga tattooist. Calle Cabildo is also known as Casas Consistoriales of the Ayuntamiento. First and second buildings of the Cabildo, so preceded by a third construction on site, serve as the office of the following. The Governor General in the 19th century, the Military Governor of the United States, the First Philippine Assembly in 1907, then the Supreme Court destroyed during the Second World War, reconstructed under the Bureau of Treasury following the original design of Lopez de Navarro. The Young Volcano is an active volcano located in southeastern Luzon, Philippines, dominating the city of Fugasco. Called the world's most perfect volcanic cone because of the symmetry of its shape, it has a base of 80 miles in circumference and rises to 8,077 feet from the shores of Albay Gulf. The Barang Sai is a traditional dress and symbol worn by women in the Philippines. It is a national dress of the Philippines and combines elements from both the pre-colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing styles. Barong Tagalog and Barot Sai were worn universally among Christianized lowlanders throughout the Philippines in the Spanish colonial period. Rather, the name was coined to distinguish the dress as Mukti, as opposed to the styles of the dress of Europeans and other foreign cultures. The Sarimano is the legendary bird that has become an ubiquitous symbol of Maranao art. It is depicted as a fowl with colorful wings and feathered tail, holding a fish on its feet or talons. It is said to be a symbol of good fortune. Blood Compact was an ancient ritual in the Philippines intended to seal a friendship or treaty or to validate an agreement. The contracting parties would cut their wrist and pour their blood into a cup filled with liquid such as wine and drink the mixture. The ruins was the ancestral mansion of the family of wealthy sugar baron Don Mariano de Desma Laxa built on a 440 hectare sugar plantation in Talisay City, Negros Occidental in the early 1900s in memory of his Portuguese wife, Maria Braga Lacson, who died during the birth of their 11th child. During World War II, Filipino guerrillas burned it down as countermeasure to prevent the invading Japanese forces from using it as a military office. It burned for three straight days. The Santo Nino de Cebu is a Roman Catholic title of the child Jesus, 
associated with the religious image of the Christ child, widely venerated as miraculous by Filipino Catholics. According to the local legend, the survival of the statue was seen as a sign of miracle by the colonizers, and ever since, it has been believed to have miraculous powers. The image of the Santo Nino is the oldest surviving Catholic relic in the Philippines, along with the Magellan's cross. The Bahay Kubo, or Nipahat, is a type of stilt house indigenous to the cultures of the Philippines. It is also known as Payag or Kamali in other languages of the Philippines. It often serves as an icon of Philippine culture. Bahay Kubo is a shelter made out of bamboo and palm leaves. It is a good place to take rest and eat typical food in a farm because of its material which allows good ventilation. <laughs>